Hi, this is Chiranjeevi. This question appeared in June 2016 CSAR net. The question is a compound displays the following spectral data. The correct structure of the compound is so we have IR spectral data that is 1690 cm inverse and uh, HNMR delta 2.5 singlet 3 hydrogens and 3.8 singlet 3 hydrogens and 6.9 and doublet J is equal to 8 hedges and 2 hydrogens and x7.8 doublet j is equal to 8 hedges and 2 hydrogens and cdnmr delta 197 165 130 129 114 156 and 26 okay so we have this spectral data from this we need to find the correct uh, structure of the compound organic compound by using this spectral data okay right so first if you observe 1690 so this ir 1690 resembles one keto functional group okay so keto functional groups we have uh, one keto functional group in first option and uh, third one okay so these two are esters so right so we need to focus on this um, keto functional group because the 1690 so absolutely resembles keto functional group right and next one is if you observe H number so he says uh, 2.5 delta 2.5 singlet 3 hydrogens okay and uh, 3.8 singlet 3 hydrogens so this 3.8 singlet 3 hydrogens resembles or uh, exhibits the property of methaxy group what 3.8 singlet 3 hydrogens so this is methaxy group right single methaxy group so if you observe methaxy group here in the first option and uh, in the third option also okay so we have first and third options are in live okay right next and if you observe 2.5 singlet 3 hydrogens so if you observe here uh, three hydrogens are there so we have three hydrogens here and singlet so consider here there is no hydrogens hence protons hence here singlet and 2.5 so if the carbonyl if the methyl group is adjacent to the carbonyl group the more alternative atom uh, attracts electrons towards it that's why uh, these uh, hydrogens are protons uh, de shielded okay so hence um, it gives uh, less delta values that is 2.5 so 2.5 singlet 3 hydrogens gives the so methyl group okay right so we have here and uh, third option also right and next go for 6.9 doublet j is called 8 hedges and 2 hedges and uh, we next 7.8 doublet j is equal to 8 hedges and 2 hedges so from this so the aromatic ring should have two so doublet doublet so if in the first option we have here is one doublet double doublet and here is one double doublet that is in cis so proton here and proton here and proton here and proton here these two are in e chemical equivalence okay these two are in chemical equivalence and these two are in chemical equivalence okay so from that and if you observe here only one double uh, double doublet and doublet is here so there is no another double doublet so that's why the third option is eliminated only first option in the live okay so for that if you observe the total spectral wall is to the given compound so this is the option that we can get from this uh, analysis so first one is the correct option okay right so if you observe double uh, doublet and here 6.9 here is 6.9 okay and uh, so 6.9 is here because the more electronegative carbonyl oxygen is here and it attracts these electrons drags towards it so that's why this carbon uh, gets uh, sp3 like uh, in environment hence it, it decreases 6.9 the we know that the benzene ring so it is it has a uh, number values nearly 7.5 to and 8 okay so and this decreases due to the presence of this carbonyl uh, oxygen here okay uh, with right 
and j is equal to 8 hedges and 2 doublets so we have here proton and here is another proton okay and uh, hence it is doublet next and if you observe this is 7.8 so this carbon is 7.8 because this is uh, not uh, like uh, this carbon it is uh, least attracted by this carbonyl carbon hence it shows aromatic properties uh, this proton has uh, benzene like properties hence it shows uh, normal 7.8 uh, H number value okay so this 1.8 and here is 6.9 and here is 7.8 and this methoxy group is 3.8 and this methyl group is 2.5 so from this spectral data we can give the option for the one is right one and if you observe C13 NMR spectra C13 so 197 so 197 gives this carbonyl a keto functional group gives 197 okay right and 165 is here because the lone pair electrons on this it goes on here and this double bond goes here and this double bond goes here and this double bond goes on this axis and that means here this uh, it gets a double bond like structure so we know that uh, in the c13 in the spectrum 122 160 or uh, 165 is uh, functional groups of uh, double bonds or double bond carbons they show 120 to 165 ppm in uh, c13 nmr spectra okay so that's why this is 165 here 165 and already we know that same uh, like um, so this carbon gets uh, 114 and these two carbon gets 129 and this carbon gets 130 so based on this functional group it uh, determines the uh, delta values carbon c13 delta values of this total molecule okay right so if you like my videos please subscribe my channel thank you and here one thing so this methyl group is 26 this is the 26 okay right and next uh, this methyl group gives 56 okay Thank you.